So today I'm going to show you my favorite sparring drill. And I love this one because you can cover a lot of ground really quickly. And for me, that's what I want to do. I'm a clash fighter, so I like to get in there fast and start doling out pain. <laughs> for reals. Okay, so this is how this works. Now, you can use this uh, during a sparring match. We do this at the dojo. My sensei taught me this. Hi, sensei. Um, but I also like to do this as part of a home workout. So you can incorporate this into a HIIT workout or a Tabata workout or just throw this into the middle of your day just to get your sweat on and warm up and loosen up. So this is how this works. First, I'm going to show you the simpler version of this so you can see what I'm doing with my hands. So simpler version. You're going to do two punches, a jab and a reverse punch, and you're going to step twice. So first step, you're going to step up with your back foot, and at the same time, you're going to punch and do a jab with the hand that's in the front. So it goes like this. Step one, you step up and punch. Step two, you're going to step forward with the front foot, drop down into a lunge, and do a reverse punch with your back hand, because it's a reverse punch, at the same time. So like this. So here we go. Step one, you step up and punch. Step two, drop down into a lunge, reverse punch. So one, two. One, sorry. One, two. One, two. And now just a little tip here. Your front hand, don't pull back before you punch. Because if you're actually sparring, your opponent will know that that punch is coming. Just have your hand out here and just go from here, okay? And then for your back fist, for your reverse punch, I want to show you something. So if I do my one, two from here, I can't get very far. If I want to get further, I need to twist my body. See how much further I get? So from here to here, okay? So you go one, two. Again, one, two. Quick intermission. Sabrina from the future here. Looking back at the footage that I made earlier today, I realized something that I didn't explain to you fully and that I didn't do in the video. So I'm gonna explain it to you now. And I think Sabrina from the past was feeling just a little bit nervous. She'd never made a video like this before. So uh, yeah, she didn't do this technique as well as she should have. So I'm gonna show you now what you can do differently. So the way I explain it in this video is if you want to, when you do your reverse punch, if you just go to here without twisting your body, you can't go very far. If you twist, you can go further. What you also want to do is lift up your back heel. So if you lift up your back heel and drop down into a, a deeper lunge, look how much further you can get. So from here, lift up and twist your body even further. Right? See what I'm doing here? I didn't do that. I, I apologize for that. You will see that through the rest of this video. So yeah, this is what you want to do when you're, when you're used to this technique and, and you, you've gotten comfortable with this drill. Make it a little bit harder on yourself because the deeper you go in the lunge, the more it hurts your legs. <laughs> so go a little bit further down extend out just like that. So that's it. Back to the video. Okay, now we're going to add the two extra steps to show you what the full drill looks like. So it's this basic move, but you're going to add a step before each of those punches. So it looks like this. Step up, step and punch, step up, lunge, reverse punch. Again, so there's four steps, two punches. So I'll count it out. One, two, three, four. Again. One, two, three, four. And again, I'm extending with that reverse punch. One, two, three, four. And as you get more comfortable with this, speed it up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then when you get really comfortable, go super fast. Look how far I can get. Now I put this uh, unicorn a little closer than I need him to be, just so he's on camera. 
can actually get past him. So you can cover a lot of ground really fast. And holy crap, does it get your heart rate up. So now, if you want to up the ante, try this. I bought a booty band, a resistance band. It's a super cheap, 10 bucks at Walmart. Okay, I wear this thing all the time for cleaning the house, lifting weights. But anyway, I tried this with this drill the other day and holy, looks really stupid, right? But man, okay, here we go. So same drill, one, two, with that resistance, holy. <laughs> and of course you wanna do this both sides. So your other foot in the front. One, two. One, two. Whew, this, this thing is gonna kill me. <laughs> okay. So try it out. Whew. Anyway, that's it for today. Have a great week.